While we're cruising around a single star system in the current alpha of Star Citizen, there's already an awful lot of information to get to grips with. Now there's a chance that you personally are blessed with an eidetic memory, but failing that, us mere mortals can benefit instead from a number of third-party tools and websites that can really help out. I'm going to break down 8 of my favourites that I use to keep on top of various stuff in the game. And if that sounds good to you, then grab a cup of tea while I roll the intro, and then let's get into it. Hello and welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm Loudguns and today let's take a look at some third party tools that can offer you a bit of handholding to enhance your SC experience. Should just be a short video today, to be honest I'm still in recovery mode after Saturday's Daymar rally. Big shout out to everyone who took part or tuned in to get me drizzle and keggles through our 10 hours of trucking. These are just my top picks that I use regularly so if I missed any that you think should have been included then be sure to let me know down in the comments. All links are down in the video description, and it is worth saying that these all cover different niches, so this is in no particular order. So with that said, first up we have Urkel, and this website will help you avoid a ton of headaches and trial and error when it comes to customising the loadout for your shiny new ship. And it can help you make sure that you've not only got the credits to buy your new toy, but also to upgrade it from its stock parts. You can select any ship currently in game and tweak the loadout with your preferred weapons and components. Urkel will provide you with the details about your expected stats including your DPS, shield HP and signatures. And it allows you to avoid common errors like loading a build with too much power draw for your power plant setup to handle. When you're finished, hit this button and add non-stock items to cart. And the shopping cart will then give you a full breakdown of everything you need to purchase, which shops you can buy them from and how much it's going to set you back. And that just allows you to plan your shopping trip before you even leave the hangar. Using the share button you can also export builds for others so if you find something that works for you, you can quickly share your setup with others in the community. The Fleet Viewer from Starjump is an amazing expansive project that allows players to view incredibly detailed 3D renders of SC ships, including those currently in-game and concept ships that have yet to hit the verse. Most commonly the tool gets used by people to show off what's in their hangar, or plan out how they'd blow their jackpot if they won the lottery tomorrow, but personally I think one of the strongest uses of it is to help in planning org operations. It's great to put together a visual representation of what ships you might want to put in an org fleet for a particular task. From the sidebar you can either manually add ships to the canvas, or if you sync up your RSI hanger with the hanger link tool, you can import everything you currently have. The canvas here gives you the freedom to view ships from a variety of angles and drag them around to arrange them how you see fit. I couldn't honestly pick between SC Trade Tools and Galog or Galactic Logistics since they're pretty similar in terms of scope, providing players with data on what trade commodities can be bought and sold at what locations and at what rough price. With how the prices of goods in SC fluctuate, I actually tend to have both of these sites open when I'm trading to see how the two sources align with one another. Regardless of which one you choose, these tools should help you identify hot trade routes and plan out your journey. You can either set parameters for your ship and how much of an investment you're looking to make in cargo, or you can dive deeper into the data and try and come up with routes that might seem less profitable on the surface, but could be less exploited by others allowing you to fill your hold up quickly and keep churning out the space cash. But if you're looking to refine your drip or unleash your inner glute goblin, then check out the Armoury by the Space Coder, who I had the pleasure of meeting recently on Space Tomatoes podcast. You can add any of the items you can find in game to your loadout and see a bunch of info in terms of how many ammo slots, consumable slots and carrying capacity it will give you. You can also take a look at in-game pictures of the items over on the right hand side which have been submitted by members of the community. When you've got the loadout you want, click to get shopping list, and one of the reasons the Armoury is my top pick for player gear is the inclusion of not only the shopping data where you can buy items, but also looting data. 
And since a bunch of items in game now are loot only, this is really helpful for focusing your efforts in certain places when your desired gear appears only in loot tables. Also in the shopping theme we have the Cornerstone website, which is probably best known for its universal item finder. And this tool will help you track down any stuff for sale in shops, including weapons, armour and ship components. No offence intended to the makers, but I personally prefer the armoury for my FPS gear searching because of the aforementioned looting information. But Cornerstone is really useful for the components and items that aren't covered by the armoury or Urkel, such as mining modules and gadgets. Cornerstone also has a fantastic knowledge base which includes the Aaron Halo density surveys that I used for my Quantanium mining guide. And I'd really encourage you to go and have a little dig here because there are definitely some gems in there. First Time is a neat little tool available on GitHub that provides up to the second information on what time it is at any location around Stanton, helping you to see when the sun will rise and set anywhere you're going. And this gets a ton of use when we're planning things like events, since stuff like races can often be ruined if you turn up and it's pitch black and you try to pick your way through a rock field. Full disclaimer that SC Org Tools is a site run by a good friend of mine, Star, but it's not favouritism, I promise. He's got a bunch of tools currently under development that will be wrapped up in one site, including ones for managing your organisation and operations. But right now you can get instant access to probably the best mining calculator I've seen. You can calculate the value of individual rocks or multi-rock clusters, helping you to determine whether or not you should stop and mine a particular rock or move on and find something else. You can also account for splitting the cash up between crew members. And as long as you've signed in, save the info down so you can settle up once the goods have been delivered to market. You'll also find a ton of information about ships, complete with detailed renders that he's made. And the CCU tool here will help you see the dollar value of ships, but also the AUEC value in game, in case you're looking for which one you go buy next. So I hope this was a useful breakdown of the things that populate my bookmarks, and that there might be one or two tools that you can add to your own. Like I said, if there's anything out there that I might not have come across, please let me know. Honourable mention should definitely go to the CCU game app, which I featured in my CCU guide video. I tried to focus in this video though on tools that help folks play the game as opposed to those focused more on the cash for ships aspect of Star Citizen. Of course one thing that I would say is that all the tools in the world aren't a substitute for the knowledge of other players, so please feel free to drop into our Discord if you'd like, there's a link just down in the video description below. And if you think I've earned it then please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel to keep up with more content. Next month we're going to hit 2 years on the channel, and the fact that we're closing in on 15k subscribers is mind blowing to me. And with all that said, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end, and I look forward to seeing you next time.